Welcome to the Fit 15 Podcast Show, where you'll find health and fitness inspiration, motivation, and information shared in 15-minute episodes. Tune in while getting a move on to make leading and enjoying the benefits of a healthy lifestyle almost too easy. It's the Fit 15. And now your host, Katherine Basu. Welcome to the Fit 15 Podcast Show. I'm your host, Katherine Basu. And I hate to delay sharing today's guest with you any longer because I actually have been working behind the scenes to get her on the show for about a year now. So hate to do that, but I didn't want you to miss out on the fact that our certified personal trainer, Brianna, is hosting a live online group fitness class tomorrow evening for those of you in the U.S. and then in various other time zones for those of you in different areas or really depending on when you're listening to the podcast. If you have not checked out classes with us over at Fit Armadillo, my fitness company, this is a great opportunity to do so. This will be a core strength workout. It's hosted live in real time so you can get feedback on your form and have the extra accountability of working with the personal trainer or going to a in-person class, but without the added cost or the inconvenience of having to travel. So hope you get to treat yourself to that class to check to see if there are still spots and to save your spot and confirm the time in your time zone. Just go over to fitarmadillo.com slash classes. That's fitarmadillo.com slash classes. And we hope you get to enjoy that class this week. All right. So today on the podcast, as well as tomorrow on the podcast, because as I mentioned, we'd been waiting to have this conversation for about a year, so we have a lot to talk about. I have guest Wendy Reinhardt Capsack. She is a registered dietitian and the president and CEO of the Produce for Better Health Foundation, also known as PBH. At PBH, Wendy guides the foundation's efforts to work with more than 300 industry and government partners to advance the overall effort of increasing fruit and vegetable consumption for healthier, happier lives. Prior to joining PBH, Wendy was the global leader for food, nutrition, and health partnerships at Bayer. In this role, her efforts focused on bridging the food, nutrition, culinary, and agriculture communities for greater collaboration from seed to table. Previously, Wendy served as Senior Director of Health and Wellness at the International Food Information Council, IFIC, and IFIC Foundation in Washington, D.C. While at IFIC, she directed communication strategies, including consumer research, opinion leader, and media outreach, as well as publications and partnerships for multiple food, safety, and nutrition-related issues. Welcome to the podcast, Wendy. I'm so excited to have you as my guest today. Thank you, Catherine. It's been about a year since we first met. I know. And, you know, are, are you going to be going to the Idea World Fitness Convention again? I, I am. So we will be exhibiting there. Oh, cool. Okay. So no, no talks for this year, but you'll, people will be able to go check you out if they're a fitness professional. Or I think they have a blogger component as well, right? Is that something that they yeah. are still promoting? That's right. So um, Idea World Convention, one of the biggest fitness shows in North America. Hope to see a few folks there. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be in Anaheim this year for anyone listening who's in the area, and that's the end of June. So definitely go check check out that booth and check out and meet uh, Wendy and learn more about what she does. We'll, we'll share a little bit more here today so that you, you know what to ask when you go to the booth. But basically, Wendy, you know, you have a, a background in nutrition, you're a registered dietitian, you have your master's degree in that field as well. Can you share more about what you do at the Produce for Better Health Foundation? Sure. So the Produce for Better Health Foundation is the only organization nationally that is focused on promoting all forms of fruit and vegetable consumption. So when I say all forms, that would include fresh, frozen, canned, dried, and 100% juice. And so dietary recommendations, um, you might have heard of my plate, they include all of them and we promote all of them. Okay. Very cool. Now, why, why would we want to be, uh, or wh- why, I guess the, the bigger question is, why does the Produce for Better Health Foundation want to promote those things? <laughs> it's probably important you know, to cover. Yeah. 
So, um, so at the Produce for Better Health Foundation, we're focused on promoting all forms of fruit and vegetables. And the reason why is very few Americans actually meet the recommendations for fruit and vegetable consumption. It's like super hard uh, mm. for us to get in those servings. So, for example, I would say one in 10 Americans is actually meeting the recommended amount of fruits and vegetables to eat each day. So there wow. is room for improvement. Yes, <laughs> for mm-hmm. sure. So now, I don't know if you could share this, like why that might be from, from your experience and the research that you guys have done, why are we having such a hard time you're going, having just, you know, one, one in 10 of us versus even half of us being able to accomplish that goal? So I would say that, um, let me think here how to word this. So mm-hmm. most folks, you know, what we have found in our research at the Produce for Better Health Foundation is most of us know that fruits and vegetables are good for us. Most of us also struggle to eat the recommended amount of servings every single day. And a lot of that has to do with um, lifestyle. So just the convenience of fruits and vegetables. Fruits tend to be, you know, people think they're a little bit more convenient than vegetables. Vegetables are like super challenging because we feel like we have to plan for them. We feel like we absolutely have to prep them and we don't really know maybe what to do with them. So Mm -hmm. most folks are challenged not with knowing how great they are for their health and happiness, but really how um, to actually make them a regular or routine part of everyday life. So um, at the Produce for Better Health Foundation, we are 100% focused on helping people live happier, and we can get to that too, Mm -hmm. healthier lives. And we feel that people can do that by eating fruits and vegetables every single day. In fact, there's research that indicates that the more fruits and vegetables um, you're eating each day, actually those who eat the most, they report greater um, levels of life satisfaction and happiness. And so that's maybe a different and new benefit that people maybe not be thinking about when it comes to fruits and vegetables. Hi friends, it's Catherine, and if you are joining us and using the episode as I recommend you do, which is to get in an out and back walk and only have 15 minutes today, you will want to turn around now. If you haven't been doing that in the past, I hope you'll consider it for the rest of the episode or your next episode because you can definitely increase your health and happiness by getting in even 15 minutes of movement, a walk in a given day. All right, back to my conversation with Wendy. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I can definitely speak to that being true for myself because sometimes I get a little lazy. And maybe we can talk about this because I even have these kind of misconceptions where I'm like, oh, you know, I really should be eating these fruits and vegetables, but, you know, I feel like something sweet and I'm just going to grab a candy bar instead. But if I actually go and, you know, have my fruit that I that I actually enjoy feeling, I feel better and I feel happier and I, I'm able to, you know, get after the goals I have for my business or other things. And I just, just feel better during the day. So I kind of, what I try to do for myself, and you can talk about some, some strategies is just remind myself of how I feel when I make the different choices, you know, not that it's, it's bad to have a candy, you know, here and there, but, uh, just, you know, how do you want to feel? And, and is that going to help you in your day? I think is, is what helps me, but you know, what, what would you say for people listening? Like how, how could they, start to experience the fact that, or I guess start to think about having, you know, some more fruits and vegetables, helping them feel happier versus just, you know, that they are supposed to be doing this and kind of, and have that mentality. Well, over the last year, we've really been digging into this because fruit and vegetable consumption or the lack thereof is this huge conundrum because most of us know um, that they're good for us. We know how we feel when we make healthy choices, whether they're fitness choices or activity types of choices or food choices. Mm-hmm. And then with the, with the real, you know, is the actual doing of either one of those. Um, so what we did was we spent, I mentioned um, 
about out of those that last year, about six months researching this. Mm -hmm. And so we were really interested in what you might consider some of the next generation of fruit and vegetable consumption, our consumers. So those millennials and Gen Zs and what their behaviors were. Mm -hmm. And also from a digital and social perspective, what are people sharing about fruit and vegetable consumption? And is there any kind of this currency of advocacy that goes on. Um, And I think you, more than anybody, know that the power of digital and social media to connect with people and to not only encourage um, an overall healthful lifestyle, but actually get people doing it Mm -hmm. um, is something that you've been really successful at. And we found the same. So um, a lot of those frequent fruit and vegetable consumers, they are already tapping into, let's say, more than health benefits. So mm-hmm. if you're somebody that's what I call fruit and veggie struggler and you want to be a fruit and veggie strong person um, is, you know, these people are super experimental and they're keeping it fresh, hot, spicy, however you want to talk about it for fun. Um, and that's a lot like fitness routines, changing it up mm-hmm. so that people don't get bored. So um, that's one kind of just characteristic. It's experimentation is just a significant part of how these people are eating. Mm. Um, And so they're really interested in keeping it fresh. They're also really interested in sharing their experiences and encouraging others. So seeking out, for example, those, um, you know, friends, family, influencers online, and certainly we have a ton of great ideas at Fruits and Veggies. That's our Instagram handle as well as our Twitter. Um, Our Twitter handle is Fruits underscore veggies and Facebook is at fruits and veggies too. We're always sharing those ideas, encouraging those, those that consumption. Mm -hmm. Um, So seeking out those resources can be really helpful for inspiration and or planning the doing. Um, There's a couple other behaviors though, that we found Um, you kind of have to plan for the unplanned. So Mm -hmm. for example, is, you know, that on Tuesday night, you know, it's your, you're super busy. If you're, let's say a busy mom and dad, or you just have like a lot of social activities, you just know, I don't have time to prep or prepare anything. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're in that moment, right? You don't, you haven't made a plan for that unplanned type of, uh, situation. So how can you make sure that you have fruits and veggies on the ready? So maybe you've done some prep in advance. Maybe you're seeking out, you know you're going to be, for example, at a convenience store. You have a lot of choices there. Um, There are fruit and vegetable choices there um, that you can make. And so how can we tap into the unplanned event? Mm -hmm. Um, We can also tap into the planned event. And this is about making fruits and vegetables kind of a regular or ready thing, no matter what meal occasion or snack you're having. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people would say, you know, fruits and veggies, particularly veggies at breakfast, not typical. So mm-hmm. how can I do I mean, a quick, maybe a fruit and a fruit, or pardon me, a veggie scramble? Um, that could be super fast, high protein pack too, um, and super colorful and really amazing for the eyes to, to you know, um, visualize it then actually um, take in we eat with our eyes too. Um, mm-hmm. Making sure that you have fruits and veggie snacks on the ready, um, and that could be certainly fresh cut, but it could also be dried. And that is an amazing on the go option. So many people feel like, Oh my gosh, I have to have everything fresh. Not so Mm -hmm. Um, having a fruit and veggie, you know, even smoothie that you prepared in advance or having, you know, dried fruit and you can take that into a little baggie or pick it up and pack it uh, and take it on the go. That's an amazing option. Obviously whole fruit on the go is super simple. Mm -hmm. Um, you can also think about, you know, go beyond the salad for lunch. Oh, and oh, by the way, putting some fruit on top of that salad can really make it interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, and thinking about, um, dinner, you know, fruits and vegetables don't just have to be a side dish. Actually, they can be the center of the plate and they can be the main dish with, um, you know, protein just as almost the guest star, Mm -hmm. um, um, or even, you know, lean proteins. So I think there's a lot of options out there and strategies, but thinking about planning ahead is one thing. Also being prepared for the unplanned, it sounds silly, but it's really this, these fast and hectic lifestyles we lead. It's kind of like we need to make sure that we're prepared for the unplanned. Oh yeah. So maybe would you recommend like looking at your week and kind of trying to to plan for what the week, you know, probably will entail, even if 
<laughs> even if you don't want to admit that at the beginning of the week, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I think the biggest thing for those on plan events is knowing what's available to you. Mm. Um, you know, whether you're going to a restaurant and having a social kind of occasion going on, is there going to be anything there that, you know, and even if there's not, how are you going to plan the rest of your day to get your fruits and veggies in early in the day, for example, mm. because you know, you're going to go out and to your point, you're going to have a really amazing celebratory meal with friends and family. So let's balance it out. You know, let's think ahead. Mm-hmm. Okay. So maybe not, not feeling so bad if one meal, you know, is, is going to put you on that, that one out of 10 that are, you know, they're, or I guess the, the, the nine out of 10 that are not, that are not reaching their, their fruit and vegetable goal, uh, just kind of planning for the other meals to be, to be better. I'm looking mm-hmm. Wendy, at the, at the Instagram and it's just, it is very colorful and, you know, talk about that strategy. I think I've heard that as a strategy for, for me as a personal trainer, helping people make all kinds of changes, you know, whether it's more exercise or just different food choices, but of experimenting and, and making these changes fun. And I'm, I'm seeing that on the, on the feed besides all the colors and the, the fact that I'm, I'm starting to get hungry, but I love even the mm-hmm. idea, um, these veggie vessels, like that's a really cool thing. You know, it looks like you got some potatoes there that have, looks like that would be a really easy thing to make, you know, for, for possibly even a main part of your, of your meal. So that's really cool. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I think, I think, you know, um, just taking that, I, I think there are so many parallels to fitness here, like just taking that first step, just getting into the kitchen, for example, and, um, and using maybe a knife and that, and, and we, and we think, oh my gosh, people don't No, most people really aren't doing a lot of prep and maybe have it. Don't, feel very intimidated by just mm-hmm. walking into the kitchen and thinking, oh my gosh, I might have to use the knife. I mean, that could be intimidating for some. So, mm-hmm. you know, when it comes to veggies, um, cutting them up and, and roasting them could make a world of difference. And, um, and just, and it could be super simple and just like throwing a little, um, a little olive oil. So maybe uh, just a sprinkle of salt and or pepper or some other spices that you know you love. I mean, that is so simple and, or putting them on the grill. Um, and, and it's not something that, that most people would be unfamiliar with, but they may not have as much experience with it. So it doesn't need to be, um, extravagant. It can be very, very simple. Um, absolutely. So, um, somebody recent, actually a very famous chef just said very recently that fruits and vegetables are so much more interesting than some other types of typical, um, you know, um, meat dishes that we might often consider. And so, um, they are colorful and we eat with our eyes, not just with our stomach. So the fact that we can create really beautiful, colorful, um, you know, dishes that, and, or, you know, anything that can really excite the senses, this keeps, um, really those, those juices in your mouth flowing and making you want to continue to paint, maybe experiment a little bit. Sure. And so out of the research that you guys did, the campaign that you've created is, is called have a plant. So could you talk to us more about that campaign and, and how that can maybe help us get excited about eating more fruits and vegetables? Yeah. Hi friends, it's Catherine and I'm pausing my conversation with Wendy for us for today. Make sure you subscribe to the fit 15, wherever you listen to podcasts. So you don't forget to tune in and get the rest of the episode, the rest of the conversation with Wendy tomorrow and learn more about the research from that campaign. But I didn't want you to pause your interest and excitement about having a plant and having some fruits and vegetables. So I wanted to create a small challenge for you that I'm also going to complete. Go to the Today Show Notes, which you can find by going to fitarmadillo.com slash podcast check out the resources that the Produce for Better Health Foundation has. And I'm going to make this challenge Instagram specific because that's the form of social media I most frequently use. So that's for the challenge, but don't feel like you're having to not participate if you don't use Instagram. Go check out the resources anyways. But if you're an Instagrammer, check out the at fruits and veggies Instagram account. That is the account for the Produce for Better Health foundation, which Wendy is a part of, and check out their feed. It's very inspirational. Find something that you are inspired, feeling inspired to make the next week, 
Once you get there, tag me. You can tag me on Instagram at thefit15 is the podcast's handle and or at Fit Armadillo. That is my fitness company handle, which is the one that I've been using the most lately. I need to update the podcast one, but I digress. Make sure you tag one of those accounts and then also use the hashtag have a plant to just claim that this is the item that you are going to make, you're feeling inspired to make. And then sometime this next week, post your photo of your creation and tag me again and also tag the Better Health Foundation, the Produce for Better Health Foundation at Fruits and Veggies, at Fit Armadillo, hashtag have a plant to hold yourself accountable and just show off the amazing fruits and veggies that you're enjoying. I'm also going to join in on this and tag you in something that I have yet to attempt. So it might not come out the way I'm envisioning it, envisioning it in my head, but it is a fruit-based dish I'm going to bring to a party this weekend. So stay tuned for that. Follow me on Fit Armadillo to check that out and hold me accountable as I try to help hold you accountable to making eating fruits and veggies fun and enjoy more health and happiness along the way. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you subscribe, I will chat with you tomorrow when I continue my conversation with Wendy for you. Thanks for listening to the Fit 15. For show notes and more, visit fitarmadello.com slash podcast. See you next time. Hey guys, one last thing tomorrow night or various other times, depending on where you are tuning in from. Our certified fitness professional, Brianna, is teaching an online group fitness class. Space is limited, but go see if there's still space and check the time in your time zone for this live class that you can join from the comfort of your home, hotel room, or wherever your busy life takes you and still get in an efficient and effective workout by going to fitarmadillo.com slash classes. That's fitarmadillo.com slash classes to save your spot in Brianna's online group fitness class, a core workout routine. Hope you get to enjoy it and to chat with you tomorrow. Bye.